Hey guys, it's Arcade again, and yesterday I made a video to quickly go over how the Xbox cable was working on the Sega Chihiro. So, I found another Xbox cable, and I decided to tear it open. So all I did was take a knife to the plastic cover here, and then there was a metal shield in this area here, and I just extracted this out. And as you can see, the inside of the Xbox cable, it's already pinned. Not all the pins are used. In this case, this was just a real standard AV kitty uh, AV cable. You can see it just had like uh, audio and basic video. It had a SCART connector, but I don't know how that was going to work because there's no RGB. So what I'm going to do is I've got the pinouts to this. I'm going to solder up a new cable. I'm going to solder it with uh, there's a three three of these pins are are uh, like jumpers. And if you ground them, depending on which ones you ground and don't ground, it will set the mode of the video being used by the Xbox. So there's one setting for VGA, which is which I've read some people say that is not supported. Which I don't know if it's entirely true or not, because I know there's VGA adapter out there. A guy in Germany makes one. So there's got to be some way to do it. And then there's a few ground all three. I think it's like 17, 18, 19, the pins it does uh, RGB so I'll definitely be doing that and then the hope of this is that I can actually have a cable that will not only be able to work on Xbox but will also work on the Shihiro so I can kind of universally use that so the plan is to just try wiring something up real quick and seeing if that works and maybe I can uh, put it into like a VGA uh, D sub 15 connector and plug it into the Hanzo unit to have use of that so we'll see how that works all right so I'll uh, wire this up and cut back and we'll see how it goes all right so I'm back and I've uh, wired up a connector real quick as you can see here I have the uh, Xbox AVIO pinout uh, all wired up uh, I got my grounds all bunched together and these two gray wires hanging out that's my toggle switch if I push them together it goes to RGB mode uh, spread apart like that there will be VGA and then I just wired up a D sub 15 uh, to VGA specs and the red wire hanging out here is my uh, plus 5 volt I'm gonna measure that before I go hooking it up just to make sure it's the right pin so I don't uh, I don't fry my Hanzo so I got the Xbox pulled out here thought I'd give this a try and uh, we'll see how it works Hopefully uh, we'll have good results. Now, I don't know if the Xbox is designed to run 480 out of the box or not. Uh, some people say yes, some people say no. I know it can be done. I've seen games run 480. I don't know a whole lot about Xbox. I've only recently started messing with them in the last couple of months. But uh, So I got the VGA hooked up here. doesn't fit too great, but this is just a test piece. And then I'll... Uh, Hook it up into the back here. Got to make sure I uh, plug this in correctly. Okay, that's plugged in. I'll just let this 5 volt hang out. Alright, so, uh, okay, my grays aren't touching. That's hooked up. I don't have any sound hooked up, so I won't hear anything. I'll pop on the monitor here. And let's uh, let's plug it in. And I might need to switch my video mode. Hey, we got some kind of picture. It's all screwed up, but... Uh, that should be uh, X Unleashed screen there. So it's all uh, goofed up, but it's stable. It's not like flying all over the place. So I got a little more work to do. Um, I did combine all the grounds together. I don't think you need to really separate them. I've never seen them where they need to be separated, where the R ground, G ground, B ground need to be separate, or the sync ground for whatnot. You know, I think they can be all combined. They all go to the same place. So. All right, that did not work. Um, it's wired correctly, I double checked. So maybe it's the Xbox. So the next thing to do is I'm gonna grab the Chihiro motherboard 
and we'll try quickly testing it, the VGA out on the Chihiro. Okay, so I'll cut to that in just a second. Okay, so the Chihiro's out. I got the uh, power supply uh, wired up here. I've got my connector uh, all plugged in the back down there in the bottom port where the Xbox output is. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire it up and we'll see what happens. Hopefully uh, something good. And I can't remember if I'm on the right menu. Oh, wait a minute. Ha! Look at that. All right, so that worked. And uh, it's a little washed out. It's because of my Extron. I can turn down the brightness a little bit. So there you go. It works. And that's good to know. So uh, there's nothing wrong with my cable. It's just that the, um, the Xbox is not outputting the VGA uh, resolution. So what I'll do now... I should technically be able to short those two um, gray wires together and I should get RGB out of that. So why don't we try that really quick. And if that works, this project will be a success. Wouldn't that be exciting to have a success for a change? So I'm going to go back over here. I'll get back into the Xbox. All right, kind of hard to do this with one hand. Well, let me make sure I've got it going the right way here. Okay, I do. Yeah, if I can get this to work, that would be pretty darn exciting. Okay, so here's one of the gray wires, and here's the other. I'm going to have to set this down for just a second while I use my fingers to short these together. And this, all this does is there's three sets of pins, and basically you jump one to the other, depending on the combination you've done, will set the different types of uh, variable, variable outputs. There's several pins on here that, you know, depending what these combos are, will do different things. So when they're all sorted together, it's RGB uh, and 15K, and when two of them are sorted together and one pair is open, it'll do VGA and as I got these leads so darn short there we go I think I got it no okay plan B <laughs> I have a jumper right here good old alligator clips so there we go there we go okay now those are shorted now let's power on the Xbox uh, let's see, power cord. Okay, Xbox is coming up. Oh! So, there's still some sync issues. Um, uh, maybe the V sync and H sync need to be jumped together. That's what it looks like to me. So it looks like I'm going to have to experiment with that. So uh, let me try testing that out, and if that works, uh, I'll know what's wrong. All right, so I'll cut back. See ya. Okay, so I didn't end up shorting these together, but uh, one thing I did discover is right now it's out of sync, but if I remove my jumper, it jumps to VGA, as you can check out right here. It's in VGA mode. But then it goes into the software and the software does not support uh, VGA. So that's where that's broken. So then if I try to jump this back again, well, now they're jumped and I'm in VGA, oddly. All right, there we go. Um, so I'm not. I guess it's the console more than anything. Um, unhook. I think the console has um, 
it's not satisfied with how these settings are done. I keep telling the box to go back and forth into different modes. Every time it does a mode change, it reboots. And so it gets to the splash screen, goes into the software. And I can tell that looks like it might be the X Unleashed uh, screen or not. I don't know. But anyway, this video is getting a little long. At least we know the Sega Chihiro works on VGA using the VGA pinout of Xbox AVIO. And the Xbox is not working how I want it to. I'd love to get 15K out of the Xbox. Could care less if it does VGA, although that would be a bonus. So, all right, looks like I'll have to keep doing some research on this. I'm out of time for today, but I uh, thought I'd just uh, make a video to show how this works. So, stay tuned, and I'll see you soon.